got, we have got 180. Mm. I didn't know uh, Will put rockets in his arrows. Because no. <laughs> <laughs> there's something not adding up. Yeah, he must have done. <laughs> Hi, it's Todd from Todd's Workshop here, and I'm back with another Arrows vs Armour film. So I'm here with Joe Gibbs today, our amazing archer. So in this package of films, Arrows vs Armour 2, we are going to be shooting, Joe's going to be shooting for three days, solid, a heavy bow. And that is one heck of a thing to ask anybody to do. This crossbow can target much more accurately. It's a lot less tiring to shoot. But the question is, is it basically the same as Joe? Now the thing is, I've been messing about with this on my channel for a few years now, and I've been saying the target doesn't care. The arrow weighs the same, the speed is the same. And so we've got this set up here where we've got a whole range of five meter distances, and we're gonna put a, a chronograph out at each distance and shoot the arrows off from zero meters through to about 25, maybe more if we can do it, and just see if Joe's arrows are going about the same speed as the arrows off this simulator, are they looking about the same? Are they oscillating, wobbling about the same? Because that's got to be important too, I think. Definitely, yeah. So there's got to be, we're looking for those similarities. So hopefully at the end of this, we can say this simulator delivers arrows in about the same way that Joe's bow does. And that will really allow us to open up the testing for small targets repeatedly. It's, you know, a lot of arrows to shoot off a big bow, uh, 160 pounds so um, it would be good to see how similar they are and might take a bit of pressure off me yeah we're just going to weigh the arrows make sure they're the same 85 grams 85 grams Joe and I are going to take it in turns now to shoot a series of arrows and we're going to start at zero meters so we're going to shoot straight over the chronograph we'll get the speed of the arrow as it leaves the bow so I'll take the first shot and then you let's go One eight one feet per second. Good score. Yeah. Right, over to you, Joe. Hundred and eighty. Hundred and eighty. That's pretty Sorry. close. Pretty similar. <laughs> I'd say that's pretty close. Yeah. Great. That's a really good start. Yeah, it's very similar. That is it's very perfect. similar. Chrono's out at ten meters now. We'll shoot again. Twenty meters. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. So we have got, we have got 180. 
Mm. I didn't know uh, Will put rockets in his arrows. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's some in not adding yeah, up. Yeah, he must have done. <laughs> um, right, so basically, you're getting numbers which are faster at 20 metres than they are at 10. Yeah. I'm getting the same number that I got at zero metres out of 20. And <sighs> it's frustrating. I mean, okay, so plan B, right? Okay. The chronograph is brilliant because it allows us to get instant numbers and we can talk about it and, and, and that's great. Yep. But for whatever reason, I think it might be the oscillation of the arrows. Yeah, maybe. Because these are made for bullets, not yeah. arrows, really. And I'm not getting good numbers. We're not getting good numbers. Mm. So we can calculate the speed off looking at the footage on the slow-mo. Okay. And then those numbers can get fed back to us. So when we come to conclude, oh, okay. we can get the numbers. Right, yeah. But we just won't have them now. Yeah, yeah. So we'll go again to zero yep. and do a load more, stack more shots at zero. Okay. Get some good numbers for that. And then we'll take the numbers out from the slow-mo at distance. Oh, okay, got you. And do it that yeah, way yeah. around. That's fair enough. And then that'll be, you know, we'll get those numbers for our conclusion yeah. rather than during the film. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's make okay. good use of the time. Yeah. We'll find out. The adventures of bows. Oh, let's go, let's go. Oh, that's good. One eight two. Hundred and eighty. Hundred and eighty six. One seven two on that one. Mm -hmm. Just one seven two, Joe. Yeah, that's probably just human error. That is, uh, again, probably a bit forward loose. Um, yeah, that's just one of those things. Well, it's been a long day so far as yeah. well, hasn't it? Yeah. Um, all right, we'll yeah. go again. That's how it is. Let's go again. One eight seven. And I mean, this thing is amazingly consistent. And that's one of the reasons that it actually makes for a really good, well, scientific test bed, you know, a, a delivery vehicle for these arrows. It's not quite as glamorous as Joe though. It hasn't got the romance, but seems to be working well. So uh, what do you reckon about that in Todd? I mean, it's looking good. Well, it's yeah. nice shooting by both of us actually. Yeah, yeah. You know, no sight 60 meters, that'll do. But they're both sticking out the back of the target. You know, you can see that they're about the same. Yeah. Um, we're going to go away now. Mike's going to go and do all the frame counting and tell us what the speed is yep. when we conclude. We'll go away and have a look at the footage, watch the oscillation, talk about that. But they're in the same kind of area and that's all we could ask. Yeah, I think that's, that's, that's a pretty decent result at 60 metres. Yeah. Both of us hitting the target. Yeah, well done. We'll get some information. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, that always hurts. <laughs> So we've got the slow-mo footage now of comparing the bow simulator with your longbow. Yep. And it's a particular interest to me is how the arrow oscillates. Because yeah. it's lovely to see it anyway, but actually that might be really important. Because if mine of the longbow simulator goes dead straight, straight mm. as an arrow, yeah. <laughs> it's not going to be the same as yours. Of course not. So right, let's, let's press play and yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we've got quite a wobble on that. Yeah. That's definitely a lot, fair it amount is. of flex on that one. Yeah, yeah. And then the thing is, the arrow also sort of st scooted through mm. the air a little bit sideways, which is, you see it on bows as well. There's a lot of flex on that arrow. Yeah. Yeah. But again, it's actually doing that thing where it, it sort of goes slightly sideways yeah. and straightens up. Yeah. Right, so this is me looking again from behind. Mm. I love the way they flex. Yeah. It always is, but everything, everything about archery when you sit in yeah. slow mo is like magic. But, you know. It's like the arrow comes alive, isn't it? Yeah. When, oh, that is. I've done a terrible, terrible thing there. <laughs> Forward loosing uh, by about an inch. Don't pick me up on that. <laughs> Somebody will. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's one of those things with human errors. So. Mm. Yes, very much. This is me from the yeah. front. Yeah, I look angry in that one. You are very angry. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. That looks that looks real smart that, that yeah. arrow there, doesn't it? 
Yeah. So this is moved from the front again. Again, you, you can see the oscillation. Yeah, it's, it's definitely there. I mean, may, maybe it's a bit less, but I, you know, mm. I, if you gave me those two arrow flights in isolation, I wouldn't be certain which yeah. is which. Um, you'd, with my one, you might get less flex or slightly less flex off a stiffer shaft. Yeah. So obviously the more flexible the shaft, the more it's, it's going to do that. So. Well, that is actually, that's one of those things to remember, isn't it? Yeah. Because the simulator is is accelerating the arrow to the same speed your bow is, but it's doing it over this distance, yes, yes. not this distance. Definitely. So actually, the effective, you know, way that it's performing yeah. is going to be slightly different. Yeah. So now on to the numbers. Okay. So as far as I'm concerned, well, the weights of the arrows are the same. Yeah. The oscillation of the arrows is pretty similar. So the last part of this puzzle is what are the speeds. So we started on the chronograph. And that was difficult shooting over it at a distance. So we moved on to filming it in slow-mo on a wide yeah, and counting right. the frames yeah. and using the camera to get speeds. But off the chrono, I was 187 feet per second. Yep. Longbow simulator, you were 183. But then if you look at it in the slow-mo and you count the frames, I'm 187 on the zero to 10 meter distance. Okay. And you're 185, okay. so you're just behind me. Yeah. And then... Actually, on the we did it again for the ten to twenty. We'll put a table in the in the notes for this. But then, what's really interesting for me is we get to the fifty to sixty meter mark. Now, the speed of the longbow simulator has dropped from one hundred and eighty-seven to one hundred and seventy-two mm. feet per second. Mm. Yeah. You've dropped from one hundred and eighty-three to one hundred sixty-seven. But what's really important about that is it's the proportional change is exactly the same. Well, mine's ninety-one percent of the speed is retained. Yours is ninety-two yeah. percent. Is speed is retained it's within margin yeah. of error so as far as i'm concerned the bow is going to be similar to ones that are on the field at asian mm. court because some are a little bit better some are a little bit worse some are a bit heavier exactly it's in the right ballpark and that's what's important mm. for us for the test yes i would definitely say you know they are amazingly similar um you know this 185 feet per second for me um i'd only had to pull it back another half an inch and I've got the the extra two feet of second or not done that forward loose yeah. you know that uh, you picked up on <laughs> thanks for <laughs> <to> that <laughs> sorry about that um, but yeah I think I think you're right they are basically, they are basically the same so yeah. I kind of hope you agree really but it's important for us because we are going to be running into tests where we're doing shooting a bits of plate steel and iron this kind of size and that's really difficult to accurately hit the centre of that with a longbow. We're going to be wanting to hit the breathing holes on the visor, which is an area this size here, the size of a pack of playing cards. We need something really accurate for that. And that is where the longbow simulator is going to come in. So it was important to prove or to show that they're basically the same. They'll never be exactly the same. But I think we've done that here today. So, Joe... Thank you very yeah, much. It's been a pleasure <laughs> as ever. We hope you've enjoyed looking at an element of this whole subject in a greater depth. But this is just one of many films in the Arrows vs Armour 2 series. So study them, look at them, watch them, enjoy them, and then go back and watch the main film again because it all feeds in to create a fantastic body of work. Thank you for coming on the journey, but there's plenty of other things that you can go and look at. So thank you for watching.